All right, guys, in this video, we're talking about the DNA viruses. Um, hopefully that you've reviewed the that 100 Lyric, uh, that's that YouTube person that has the boy in the hat that you can memorize the, it's, it says easy way to, to memorize the DNA viruses. So these questions are basically built off that. It's something that when I was studying for the STEP exam, you know, I tried to research YouTube and find someone who could teach that to me in a condensed way, and it, and it really worked for me. So we want to give them credit, and uh, hopefully the questions will help. All right, guys, so here goes our DNA viruses. It says, an 80-year-old woman enters into your office with complaints of significant pains uh, that starts on the left side of her mid-back and wraps around to, this, uh, to the side <clears throat> to her lower left chest. There is a rash that follows the same distribution, which the following most closely resembles the organism associated with this condition. So, you know, kind of an older person, has got this rash, wraps around, it's painful. We know that this is herpes, um, zoster, also known as shingles, right? So we know that this, this falls into the uh, DNA uh, family, and you need to know that obviously that is associated with obviously the herpes that's in the name. And so we got to go back, and I ho hopefully you, you know this by heart now. It's the boy in the hat, and we'll just kind of cover it real quickly. Again, it's that person, 100 Lyric on, on YouTube, uh, make sure you you look them up, watch the video, give them credit for it. Uh, that's that's where I studied it. So it's the boy in the hat. You draw it like that. Herpes is going to be the one in the hat, right? It's double stranded. It's it's linear. It's under the hat, so it's encapsulated. Uh, <clears throat> and then this one says it's the the eyes. Remember the eyes are the pox virus, right? There's the largest uh, DNA virus. It's uh, let's say brick or um, you know, rhomboid-shaped uh, virus. Then we have the parvovirus, right? It's, it's the mouth, it's the single-stranded, it's the smallest. Um, that's the one associated with Fifth's disease. We have the hepatinovirus, right? Semicircular, it's underneath the hat, so it's encapsulated. Um, it's associated with hepatitis B, okay? And remember, since pox is right underneath the the hat, it's also encapsulated. Parvo is way away from the underneath the hat, so it's non-encapsulated. Then we also have the adenovirus, and that's associated with conjunctivitis, pharyngitis, and gastroenteritis, uh, linear, double-stranded. And then over here, we have the popova, and of course, that's circular. It's not under the hat, so it's a naked or non-encapsulated virus associated with JC and BK virus. Uh, HPV is in uh, this category. 611 and 1618. Okay, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, back to this problem. It says it's the 80 year old. She's got a herpes. That's the double stranded DNA. So it's not dopamine insufficiency. It's not non encapsulated because it's right under the hat. So it's encapsulated. Double stranded encapsulated DNA virus. Looks good. Uh, single stranded. Nope, we know it's not that. And encapsulated semicircular. No, that's not that one. That would actually be hepatina. So the answer to this one double stranded encapsulated DNA herpes. Now, this one says, a 32-year-old woman uh, goes to her OB for routine gynecological exam. Testing revealed patient was positive for human papillomavirus, okay, HPV. Which of the following would describe the virus and be considered the low-risk type? Now, um, we know that HPV, of course, it's in the topic that we're doing, is going to be it's a DNA virus, right? So we can eliminate those guys. Now, which of these was the um, eight, which of these did the HPV fall into? And it's right here, right? The popova. Okay. So we know the popova is going to be circular. So it's DNA. It's circular. But now <clears throat> I have this type. Now again, we don't have any two choices on this one, but we only have choice six and eleven. So you know that's going to be the answer, obviously. But I should, have, I should have wrote this better, and I should have made you choose between 6, 11, 31, and uh, 33, because the low risk type is going to be the 6 and 11, okay? Uh, well, actually, and then the high risk type is actually going to be the 16, 18. So 16, 18, high risk associated with cancers. The low risk is going to be 6, 11 for HPV. But in this situation, it's a DNA, it's circular, and then low risk would be 611. If I would have put high risk, you would have jumped all over 1618. All right. 
This one says a 27-year-old female with religious preoccupation in adulthood uh, has history of seizure and history of inpatient psychiatric admission is involved in a motor vehicle accident. Upon autopsy, she is found to have necrosis of the temporal lobe. Okay, any time that you see necrosis of the temporal lobe, you better be jumping all over uh, herpes virus, okay? Which of the following is indicative of the condition that she suffered? Okay, so we know this because anytime you see temporal lobe, herpes, you know, seizure, something that's gonna associate with this, you gotta have this in your differential, okay? And we know, again, everything goes back. When you're in the DNA, you draw that bow with the hat, and you should be able to blow through these and do all your DNA viruses, all right? Is her condition due to dopamine insufficiency? No, now she may have this whole religious preoccupation, um, you know, psychiatric admission. You may think she's a history of psychosis. Um, but anyways, when people are psychotic, it's not a dopamine insufficiency, it's a dopamine, it's a dopamine surplus uh, per se. So anyways, it's not definitely not A. Now, is herpes we know is not single-stranded, right? Herpes is not double-stranded, it's not that one. Is it enveloped? Yes. Double-stranded RNA? No, nope. try to throw that in there. It's not RNA, it's actually DNA. Circular? Nope, we know it's not circular. Which one's circular? The uh, popova is circular. Non-encapsulated DNA virus? No, that one, that one describes popova. Double-stranded DNA virus? Looks good. Single-stranded? Nope, the single-stranded, the only single-stranded is gonna be the uh, Parvo, okay, Parvo, associated with aplastic anemia, a smallest, it's linear, single-stranded, um, associated with uh, fist disease as, as well, okay? And then <clears throat> this one says, a new infectious disease appears to be spreading in the community. Scientists isolate the virus and describe it as brick, diamond-shaped, double-stranded, enveloped, and DNA virus. Okay, well, and then based on this information, uh, which will be a characteristic unique to this virus. Okay, so so this is one of those classic kind of USMLE step one-esque questions because it's two-step, right? They give you the description. Now you're you're just hoping, you're praying that that they would have given you a, um, you know, you're kind of praying that they would just give you an answer choice of, of uh, you know, herpes, popova, you know, hepatitis, something like that. But no, they, have to, they take it one step one step further and in this you have to know first of all you have to know um my pen's going dead here you have to know oops luckily enough i got a pen right there um uh you have to know the boy in the hat sorry about that guys pen went dead uh so again you draw all these all these things And then you know that brick or diamond shaped is gonna be, it's gonna be the pox, right? You know it's the pox. Now what's unique about the pox? The DNA viruses replicate in the nucleus? Well, it's interesting, yes, DNA viruses do replicate in the nucleus, all of them except pox virus, right? That's what's unique about pox. It replicates in the cytoplasm, so it's not that one. Non-encapsulated after replication? I just made that up. Semicircular? No, they already told us it was brick or diamond shaped, so it's not that one. It's the smallest? Nope, actually, it's the largest one. Okay, that's unique. It's the largest uh, DNA virus. Replication occurs in the cytoplasm? Yes. Okay, so this is a nice, uh, you know, a nice little two step question that uh, I, I like this one because it makes you understand what's the, what is the virus, and you have to need something extra, a little, little about it. So, Again, just to quickly review, and, and, and again, give credit to that 100 Lyric on YouTube, and that's because I was having, I came across these type of questions when I was doing the Q Bank, and I could never get them right, so I went to YouTube, found someone who could describe them to me in, in a vet amount of short time, and it just works. So we got the herpes virus, that's in the, that's, it's in the hat, right? So it's encapsulated, linear, double-stranded. Um, it's dormant, goes stays in the dorsal root ganglion, okay? That kind of stuff. We have the pox virus. This is the largest one. It's right under the hat, so it's encapsulated. It's brick or diamond shaped. It's, um, you know, the, it replicates in the cytoplasm. We have parvo, it's single-stranded, it's linear. Uh, it, 
um, associated with Fitz disease. It's also associated with um, aplastic anemia. And just know pox is also associated, backing up a second, pox is associated with molluscan contagiosum. Uh, and then we say what, DNA dependent RNA polymerase. And then we have the, and all that's covered in her video. And then we have double stranded the adenovirus, uh, double stranded linear associated with conjunctivitis, pharyngitis, and gastroenteritis. We have the hepadna associated with hep B, DNA dependent DNA polymerase. Um, but just know hep hepatitis B is in this category. And then we have the Popova virus, HPV, JC virus, BK virus, circular, non-encapsulated, um, also associated with HPV, right? 6 and 11 are low risk, 16 and 18 are high risk. If you can draw this guy out, I think that you can go back and answer any questions that they're going to ask you on these DNA viruses for your step exam. Hope this helps.